In this video, we'll be learning how to make a clothesline clip wreath for the 4th of July. And the best part about this craft is you can get most of the materials at the dollar store. So let's get started and let's begin. For this craft, you're going to need 40 clothesline clips. I wanted to line everything up before I started painting anything and I realized that I was going to need to paint 10. It's a good idea before painting any of these to go and see exactly how many you're going to need. In my case, I needed 40, but you may need more or you may need less. Now start painting your 10 clips blue. Make sure to get all sides. These clips also are going to dry really fast. The wood that typically these clips are made of are very thirsty, the best way to put it. So they do absorb paint pretty quickly and they dry really fast. Now take off another 15 clips or put another 15 clips off to the side. These ones we are going to be painting red. I did end up having clips that were left over from another craft. I know some of these in this craft are yellow, but acrylic paint covers pretty much any color that you're going to go and paint over, which is really great for this type of medium. Again, these are going to dry pretty fast, but the ones that are already painted might take a little bit more time since the paint has already soaked in. And you can really see how much of good coverage that this paint is actually going and getting. After those have dried, I do suggest going back to the blue and going and retouching any area that you haven't gotten paint on yet. Go and put those off to the side and let them dry. When those are all drying, remove another 15 clips or put another 15 clips off to the side. These ones we are going to be going and painting white. Now again, I did have some clips that were left over from a craft, and as you can see, the white acrylic paint is easily covering the yellow paint that I had already on these. So it's not really too much of an issue. Now after all of your clips have dried, go and start placing them on. These blue clips are going to go and sit flat, so they're going to go and clip onto the inner two rings that are metal. Make sure and move the clips together as close as you possibly can get them. If you do not, the other clips for the pattern that you're going to be doing with the red and the white really isn't going to work and you're going to have clothesline clips that are all over the place. You will have to use adhesive instead, but I really didn't want to use adhesive for this craft just because I might want to maybe reuse this wreath for a different project for a different season. After all of the blue clips are secured, go and move on to the red clips. These red clips are going to be clipped as such. The first clip should go onto the first ring, second clip goes across the two rings, and then the third clip goes onto the third ring. The two that are on the third ring are going to float, and the one clip to two is going to go and secure them. The same thing with the white, the first one is going to be clipped on two, second one is going to be up on one, and then the third one is going to be clipped on two. Continue to go and add clips into place. Keep the pattern going as you go and add them. Also, keep in mind too, you're going to want to go and get these as tight as possible as you can to each other. If they are not, you're going to have these clips all over the place. Make sure to shift the clips over. If you don't, the last few clips are going to be really hard to get on, or you might not be able to get them on at all. Continue to go and add your last clips. Make sure everything is secured. And now you can go and hang this on your door. And the best thing about this wreath is you can always take all of these clips off later and go and decorate it differently. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a great one and take it easy.